I spilt my venom. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do today is something that I was supposed to do for a while. We are gonna change my front brake pads on my car. And my uh, brakes have been majorly squeaking for the past like month. So I, I would just power wash it, then it would go away for a day or two, and so then yeah, they need to be they need to be changed. So this little guy is going to get a lot of work. I seriously thank all you guys for subscribing to this channel. 3,052 was the last time I uh, updated it, and that's what I saw. It's, I, did not, I didn't even think that this channel would get this far. I thought it would take me years, like probably two or three years to get 3,000 subscribers. But I did it in about eight months. So I thank all you guys for supporting the channel. And uh, I love doing these videos. I love it. This is my hobby and passion. If you want to use this video to uh, see on how you change your own brake pads, I am going to do step-by-step -step, uh, uh, showings of what needs to be done. You will need this tool. I do not know what it's called. But what this tool is, is this pushes the piston uh, back in, that's in the caliper. So you just put this on it, then you, uh, you uh, screw this in, and then that just pushes the piston back in so the new thicker brake pads will fit onto the rotor. The first thing you need to do is find your brake liquid, your brake fluid, your, your brake fluid, and then take the cap off. Make sure you don't lose it. But that cap needs to come off. Why does it keep doing that, man? Alrighty, so it turns out. I need a flatter surface to work with. See, that's a lot better. Now that is completely off the ground, and we are good to go. The Ryobi half inch impact. Just like that, it is off in seconds. I love that half inch impact. That's lefty. So normally, normally what I do in this, I grab a, a mallet. This is the section of the video to where people are gonna comment up the butt about what I'm about to do. Since I got the space, why not? Let's give it a shot. That's not working. All right, the impact driver did not work, so I just did what I normally do. I just hit it with this. Now it's loose. And there we go. And there's the caliper. Oh, I have two pistons to push in on this one. 
here. Don't need one. Was there I was about to grab a, a regular hammer when I got this one. I wish Ryobi made a good uh, like a uh, screwdriver set. There we go. Now that's off. Yep, that's the one that was screwed. Look at that. That's missing. Yep. There's my problem. There's the there's your problem. Right there. Now this is the hardest part of this fucking of this job. Is putting these pistons back in place. Let's see if I can do it. It's going in pretty easily actually. Not too shabby. Luckily. Now luckily on this time I don't have to change the rotor. Rotor looks pretty decent. Rotor still has a lot of life in it. Now you don't have to change the metal bracket. You don't you don't have to. It's not damaged, it's not warped. So we're good on that part. Uh, grease up the parts. Same thing to the other one, which goes in like that. Ah. So it just turns out I needed a new, uh, I needed a light. Turn, turn that right. There we go. Do the other one. Oh yeah, that went on just right. It went on perfectly. I just needed a the light to see what was happening with the back pad and it was just uh it wasn't uh just straight to where it slided in it was a tiny bit of an angle so there was a little friction against it so i used the hammer and it went right in after a couple of hits so that's done it ha has some play in it which is good yeah this this one pad was was screwed that one pad was done but that's done. All that's left it now is to put the tire back on. But since I'm going to rotate the tires, I'm actually going to put the uh, the spare on. Well, mostly got it. Well, let's put this on one. No, I'll put this on number two. Number two. Now that's it. That's it because I'm not driving with that on.
Doesn't like using an axe to take off a tire. After hitting it with an axe for a while, I got it. Here is the front tire. There we go. Now, time to do the star. And that's it. Now all I gotta do is put this tire on here where the, uh, the spare is, then, then that finishes up the project. So I'm gonna do that off camera. So this, this I, I'm gonna put this uh, model number in the video. This half inch impact uh, driver does wonders. It saves me so much time putting on and taking uh, tires off. This thing, uh, I love it. I would, this would not have been done that as fast if I didn't have this tool. Now I did all that. I took those off and put them back on so many times and the battery is still full. Which is crazy. After it was at almost 75%, but once this cooled off a little bit, it went back up to 100% with a 6 amp hour battery. And this, the tool is warm a little bit. It, it just got cooler for the past couple of minutes. It's extremely powerful. Now, I love my tools. I seriously do. I've only been uh, with the Ryobi line for like the past 9 to 10 months. And a lot of you guys uh, were already loyal fans to Ryobi, which I wasn't in the past, but I am with this OnePlus system. It's seriously amazing what they got. I wanted to thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. I, I cannot believe that it, it's taken off like this. And it, it's seriously amazing to me. Because I'm your... I'm, one thing I haven't talked about in probably 70 or 80 episodes is I am, I'm your average Joe. That's what this channel is really for. It's for your average Joe, just like you, just like me. I'm not a professional anything when it comes to tools. Uh, I've only know how to do this because I've been doing it myself for like 15 years. And I, cause I, I could never afford to truly get my uh, brakes done by a dealership or somewhere. So I had to look at all other alternatives and do it myself, which it's a fraction of the cost. But you just got to put the put in the labor. So that's how I uh, know how to do my brakes. Because I still can't afford it. I, I can't afford like $1,200 to get my brakes done. Or $1,500. Whatever it is. I, I can't afford that. That's way too much money just to do brakes. When I could do it for a fraction of the cost myself. But that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, it's good. Today was a su successful day. And I got this uh, done. I got the front brakes fixed for 30 bucks. And I rotated the tires myself, which that was free. So, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.